Welcome to multiple choice quiz on the international date line. This quiz is designed to test your knowledge about the international date line. It is an important concept in global timekeeping and navigation. I have already uploaded a video about international date line. You can check the link in my description box. Now I am giving you a brief definition about international date line. The international date line is an imaginary line that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole, roughly along the 180 degree meridian. It plays a critical role in distinguish one calendar day from the next, ensuring that the world's timekeeping is synchronized. Now look at this picture. When you cross international date line from west to east, towards Americas, you move backward by one day. And when you cross the international date line from east to west towards Asia and Australia, you move forward by one day. The international date line helps standardize the transition of calendar days across the world by providing a clear demarcation for where one day ends and another begins. Without the international date line, coordinating times and dates for international travel would be much more complex. Let's begin question number one. What is the primary purpose of the international date line? A. To help distinguish one calendar day from the next. B. To serve as a boundary between time zones. C. To mark the starting point of the prime meridian or d to divide the earth into northern and southern hemisphere the answer is a to help distinguish one calendar day from the next the primary purpose of the international date line is to help distinguish one calendar day from the next because it serves as a point where the date changes by one day when it is cross. Question number two. Where is the international date line primary located? A. Along the prime meridian. B. Along the equator. C. Roughly along the 180 degree meridian. Or D. Along the Tropic of Cancer. The answer is C. Roughly along the 180 degree meridian. The international date line is primarily located along the 180 degree meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Question number 3. When you cross the international date line from west to east, what happens to the date? A. The date does not change. B. You move forward by one day. C. You move backward by one day. Or D. The time changes by 12 hours. And the answer is C. You move backward by one day. When you cross the international date line from west to east, you move backward by one day. It means if you are traveling to the west, you gain a day, although if you are traveling to the east, you will lose a day. Question number 4. Which ocean does the international date line primarily pass through? A. Atlantic Ocean B. Indian Ocean C. Pacific Ocean or D. Arctic Ocean the answer is C. Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean was chosen for the international date line because it is the largest and least populated ocean. Placing the line here minimizes the disruption of the majority of the world's population and reduces the number of inhabited landmasks that need to deal with the complexity of date changes. Question number 5. Why does the international date line 
have deviation rather than being a straight line. A. To follow national borders and territorial waters. B. To avoid the prime meridian. C. To align with the equator. Or D. To account for time zones. The answer is A. To follow national borders and territorial waters. The international rate line has deviation rather than being a straight line primary to accommodate political, economic and social consideration. These deviations are practical adjustment to ensure that the international rate line works smoothly in the real world, balancing the need for a clear global timekeeping system. Question number 6. What happens to the date when you cross the international date line from east to west? A. The date moves forward by one day. B. The date moves backward by one day. C. The time changes by 12 hours. Or D. The date does not change. The answer is A. The date moves forward by one day. When you cross the international date line from east to west, you add a day to the current date. This means you effectively move forward in time by one day. Question number 7. Which of the following country is located close to the international date line? A. Australia B. Japan C. New Zealand or D. Madagascar. The answer is C. New Zealand. Although New Zealand is not particularly close to the international date line, it is situated far away from the 180 degree meridian. But in this question, from all these options, New Zealand is located close to international date line. Question number 8. Why is the international date line not a perfectly straight line along the 180 degree meridian. A. To accommodate the political and economic interest of nearby countries. B. To avoid crossing land masses. C. To align with global shipping routes. D. To match the magnetic meridian. The answer is A. To accommodate the political and economic interests of nearby countries. The international date line is not a perfectly straight line primarily due to practical and geopolitical consideration. Question number 9. If it is noon on Monday, just west of the international date line, what time and day is it just east of the line? A. Midnight on Sunday B. Noon on Tuesday C. Noon on Sunday D. Midnight on Monday The answer is C. Noon on Sunday If it is noon on Monday, just west of the international date line, then it would be noon on Sunday, just east of the line. Remember, when you move east across the international date line, you move backward by one day. So, if it is Monday, just west of the line, crossing eastward means you move into Sunday. Last question, question number 10. Which of the following statements is true about the international date line? A. It follow the prime meridian. B. It is fixed and never changes. C. It runs through the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans or D. It has many zigzag to avoid splitting countries into different days. The answer is D. It has many zigzag to avoid splitting countries into different days. The international date line has a zigzag pattern to avoid splitting countries into different calendar days. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. If you have any questions or topic you would like us to cover, drop a comment below. 
Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious and never stop learning about the amazing world we live in. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next video. Thank you.